this is my next review. Today I'm going to be reviewing this long black taffeta waist training underbust corset made by True Corset. So here is the front, the side, the back, and the other side. The center front of this corset is quite long, it's 13 inches long. On the side seam here, however, it goes right up to about eight and a half inches high. So it actually cuts right above the iliac crest. My iliac crest is right there. And you can see that it actually goes right above it and then it comes back down to about 11 inches in the center back there. In terms of the silhouette, I would definitely consider this a modern, slim silhouette. This is a size 22 inch corset, and you can see that I'm wearing it with about a 2 inch gap in the back here. The rib cage of this corset I measured around is 28 inches if you were to wear it close, and the hips are also about 28, 29 inches. So it's really the um, hips that are kind of the limiting reagent here, because my natural iliac crest is about 33, 34 inches. Um, However, because it's cut above the iliac crest, I'm able to cinch it a little bit more. Um, but if it's not comfortable for you to do that, then I definitely would not recommend that you do that. Um, if you want to wear your corset closed all the way, then I recommend ordering a size up from what you usually wear. So if I usually wear a size 22, I would probably get this in a size 24 in retrospect. But when you look at the tag that comes on the corset itself when it's new, I'll show it to you a little, in a couple minutes, it actually says that it's advised to wear the corset with a two inch gap in the back. So maybe this is the reason why it's such a slight silhouette because it's supposed to be worn this way. So here's a true corset laying flat and it is very sunny outside. So hopefully you're not getting too much of a glare but you can actually see the, the details on the black uh, more easily. Uh, for the fashion fabric, it is a plain black taffeta. The lining is also a cotton and it's, a, a, like the other one it's sort of like a very coarse twill or uh, like more like a bull denim so as you can see this is the playgirl white label and it's a size 22 and on the back of the tab here you can see that it says 100% cotton 100% cotton lining now the fashion fabric does not feel like cotton to me it doesn't look like cotton to me um, but the the lining definitely does feel more like cotton uh, it says, of course, it's steel boned, which I checked with my magnet, so that's true. And it, it does say made in China. Now, I thought that Kinnard had, uh, which owns True Corset, had made all their courses in the UK. But in an email, they did mention that they have facilities and manufacturers out in the Far East. So um, I guess this particular corset is made in China, but I don't know what other products they have that are made in the UK. And turning the corset on its side here, it has sort of seven panels. So one, two, three three, four, five, six, and that last panel is just straight up and down. So technically this could be a, a particularly wide sixth panel right here. Um, for the actual assembly of this, it was assembled using the sandwich method. So the fashion fabric and the interlining were all um, put together from panel one to panel six, same with the lining, then they were put together, wrong sides together. This was stitched in the ditch between each seam, and you can see that it's double boned on all the panels there in between each seam. And it's quite hard to see in this corset, but hopefully it comes out on camera if I hold it on an angle here. There is a waist tape running through this. Um, I can see it starting right around here on the first panel, going through quite low on the waist of the corset here and ending right there on the last panel. I can feel and I can see the little bump there. So it's about one inch wide and it's sandwiched in between the layers so you, it's not visible on the inside. Here's a close-up of the binding. So the binding is made of the same matching taffeta and it is machine stitched on the outside and on the inside here. You can see that the second stitch they had stitched in the ditch so you don't see a second visible seam on there. And this is how it looks from the inside. You can also see that there are six garter tabs in this corset, three on each side. Additionally, they put another tab on the top here. I was going to call it a garter tab, but it's not really. Um, I guess this is so you can hang the corset from its loops if you want to. The modesty panel is about six inches wide, so about four inches of usable space when you subtract the amount that needs to be underneath the grommets here. And it just unstiffened, um, just sewn onto one side of the corset so you can remove it if you don't like modesty panels. And it feels like it's two layers in here. It's the fashion fabric of um, the taffeta and then there is the uh, bull denim on the underside. And there is no modesty placket in the front by the busk here. 
The busk of this corset is about 12 inches long and it has five pins. Uh, these last two loops and pins are a little bit closer together near the bottom, which is normal. It helps to control a little bit more of the lower tummy. And they are a, a pretty standard half inch wide flexible busk on each side and it's pretty sturdy. There are 24 bones in this corset, 12 on each side, of course not including the busk. As I had mentioned before, there are uh, double bones on the seams, so two, four, six, eight, ten, and then the other two on each side are what are sandwiching the grommets. And these steel flats by the grommets are very, very stiff. Even after I had seasoned this corset, I still felt that it was really stiff. So if you have a problem with sway back or if you have a really high round bum, um, I would recommend that if you do get this corset, then maybe you should try it on, see how it feels on you. And if you feel that it's sort of poking into the bottom of, uh, of your hip or the, the top of your bum, then just gently curve the bones this way in, uh, in your hands and just try and get it to sit more flush against your lumbar back so that it's not putting your posture into an unnatural position. So here's a close-up of the grommets on the front side and there are 22 two-part size double zero grommets. Um, these ones are the same grommets that I had showed in my previous True Corset review, the one of the Dragon Brocade Cincher, but these ones seem to be holding in. They're, they're holding up a little bit better. You can see that there's not any fraying. Um, by the the grommets here on the fashion fabric so perhaps the taffeta holds up a little bit better than the brocade which is the first time i've seen that because usually taffeta is a little bit thinner but uh but that seems to be the case in this corset and here you can see the underside of the grommets um, most of them have rolled really nicely there's only a couple of splits or cracks but um, they don't actually catch onto the laces so that's not a problem the laces themselves are uh, standard I guess laces for off the rack corsets it's a, a flat braided shoelace style lacing that's uh, made with nylon it has a little bit of stretch but it's virtually unbreakable the price for this corset on the True Corset website is £70 if you're in the UK or $120 if you're in the US. So that's all for this review. I hope you found it enjoyable and educational. If you did enjoy it, then please remember to click that like button to help support the channel. And if you have any comments or questions about this corset or True Corset in general, please leave a comment down below. I'll get back to you as best I can. So that's all for this review and I'll see you guys in a few days for the next video. Bye!